This is typical. Absolutely typical. The kind of ass I have to put up with from you people. You punts in here expecting to be waited on hand and foot while I'm trying to run a hotel here. Have you any idea how much there is to do? Do you ever think of that? Of course not. You're all busy sticking your noses into every corner and poking around for things to complain about, aren't you? Well, let me tell you something. This is exactly how Nazi Germany started, you know? Okay? A lot of layabouts with nothing better to do than cause trouble. Well, I've had 15 years of pondering to the pleas and all the other stuff with the likes of you, and I've had enough. I've had it. Come on, pack your bags and get out of my hotel. Well, I'm sorry. You should have thought of that before you should now, okay? It's too late. I don't care if it's raining. Come on, Ras, Ras, get out. Oh, uh, well, let me explain my little work house. Uh, um, the guests and I haven't been, haven't been over having a bit, a little bit of a chin wag, and, um, you see, the upshot uh, of it is all oh, that they're off. Off, yes, they are leaving, um, now, okay, all right, well, let me put it this way, it, um, it's, uh, dear, it's either they go, or I go. <laughs> okay, come on back, everybody, um, never mind, um, my wife's got a better idea, come on, I'm going instead. Okay, it's been an interesting 15 years, darling, but uh, it, all good things must come to an end. I hope you enjoy your new work here, helping run a hotel. I am going to buy, uh, bye, Polly, Manuel, goodbye, goodbye, bye, dear. Oh, it's uh, raining. That's not good. Um, so, um, I like a room, please. Uh, yes, number 12, I believe, is free. I think I like my breakfast in bed this morning at uh, maybe half past nine in the morning, and um, I would like a... Uh, eggs, bacon, uh, sausage, don't forget the Waldorf salad, washed with uh, the lashings of possibly hot screwdrivers and some acid, yes, and, um, yes. Ah, oh, deaf, mad, and blind. You were looking for a view, madam. Well, uh, this is the view as far as I can remember, madam. Yes, this is it, Torquay, madam. But this is Torquay, madam. Well, may I ask what you were hoping to see out of Torquay Hotel Bedroom Window, perhaps? Sydney Opera House, perhaps? Uh, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon? Uh, herds of wildebeest who were sweeping majestically. You want to see the sea? You can see the sea. It's between over there, the land and the sky. Well, next time, I suggest you consider moving your hotel closer to, to the sea. Or preferably in it. Oh, you want a reduction? Why? Because, like, because the, well, the Krakatoa is not erupting at the moment. Quite right, quite right. It's always a pleasure to find someone who appreciates the boudoir of the grape. I'm afraid most of the people we get in here don't know, like, a Bordeaux between a claret. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. A Bordeaux is a claret. Of course, it was a joke. <laughs> but, you know, they wouldn't know that. <laughs> You obviously drink a lot. I mean, I mean, wine, wine. I mean, I mean, well, not a lot. I mean, a fair amount. The right amount for a connoisseur. I mean, a connoisseur. I mean, I mean, that doesn't mean you're, uh, you know, doesn't. I mean, some people drink it by the crate. I mean, that doesn't mean that's, I mean, that's not being a connoisseur. That's just being plain sloshed and drunk. And oh, uh, you know, Bordeaux is one of the one of the clarets, right? <laughs>